Blessings to you. Welcome to Cosmic Mystic. I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where? I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now you be surprised at the info you get is by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science, then let them in talk up their body, another one body, that's just how it go. I got some secrets, I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane, I to stay on the go. I can to play with the pros and act like a rookie, so they overlook me, then I double up again, none of their nose, none of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted, so I'm to the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close, I let them think that they got me, but what do you know? I had them beat before we ever spoke, I'm ready for smoke. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where, I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now they ain't go harder than me. They need a blade and a sheath, a shank and a piece, a crate full of heat, an army of fleet, a tank and a jeep, a navy at sea. Where they some marine, an ace up their sleeve, a team of marines, a freak on a leash, a beast with an appetite, razor for teeth, and still they will lay at my feet. Boy, you got the wrong one. I gotta look over all of my publishing statements for Q1 as soon as the song's done. I gotta call up my mama and tell her I made it as soon as my log's done. I gotta read all my trade publications and sit my tea till it is all done. I think it's all fun. I need to know everything, who in the what and the where, I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything I need to know everything, who in the what and the where, I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse, I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything I think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I'm at his neck I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept All my nightmares of me at 40, life's a wreck See my dad, he in debt, and my mom, she upset That's way back when 408 on Seminole was the address I saw things I shouldn't have, though I love the fam to death Way back then it was a mess, we was living check to check Now my shirts are getting pressed, your girl see me, she impressed And my fans are quite obsessed, I own everything, I'm blessed Made a living making art and aiming closely at they neck If you think I'm not a threat, I'm like, eh, incorrect, yeah She called out, put her on block list, I call that options They can support, they get dropped quick, they be my stock pick I guess I'm back in the cockpit Turn the whole crowd to a mosh pit I make it hit like a drop kick Cause I got the key like a locksmith Think I'm playing chess, I see a king, I'm at his neck I'm three steps ahead of every move, now that's a check Yes, they wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept All my nightmares of me and 40 likes of wreck I'll be a ghost, what I do is a hobby for most A comedy roast, so I'm on my own, I gotta be known I gotta be toast, I'm an anomaly, no You would never put the motherfucking work in the dude Dreaming it's obvious, not about it, everything and everybody It shows my revenue growth is out of control I'm ready to blow, I'm ready for war, I'm ready for smoke You ready to go, I really think I'm playing chess I see a king, I'm at his neck I'm three steps ahead of every move Now that's a check, yes They wanna know my secret, it's because I never slept All my nightmares of me and 40 life's a wreck Who you kidding around? Out there hating, 
still can't bring me down Swimming with me, sipping crown. I'm just here to have a look around. Get to work, I'm here to lift some pounds. I'm on another wave of different sound. I'm like quarter to three. I'm still working. 500 degrees, passion burning. I think you forgot. You must have forgotten. I do this a lot. I just made it up. It's Nate Rose sipping bourbon in the gold. Say, hey, that's how I roll. I just had to let them know. If I have to ask again, tell them hoes out of yours. Call my phone, that's a no. I suppose I let them go. 86, I'm quick as hell. Play the victim, wish you well. Still working 500 degrees, passion burning. I think you forgot, you must have forgotten. I do this a lot, I just made it up. Yeah. I'm feeling alive, wake up, rise and grind. Black tea, squeeze a lemon when it's time to realign. Put my lady in some fur, ponder how we made it hurt. She said, hard work, dedication. I said, bitch, I concur. Time is sour on the table, clam chattering for Kasha. Heard you said you coming for me. I ain't heard a word about you. It's not nice, I feel like Baka hopping out. I do my dance for my people, for my fans, from the planet where I stand. Oh yeah, I'm still working. You ain't working on yourself for your purpose. You just only see the problem on the surface. I see everything I need behind the curtain. And tell your girl if she your girl. First, I'm going to discuss the effects of the planetary energies for March 2020 and how I suspect that these planetary energies will impact the collective. I'll be basing my interpretations off of the chart that I've just drawn for you. Just know that I tend to interpret my charts fluidly, so you'll need to listen closely as I navigate from one point of reference to the next. Once I'm done with the astrology portion of this video, I will give you a cartomancy reading. So if you want to navigate to that or certain sections of the astrology section, or if you come back at a later time in the month and you want to find out about that part of the month, you can find timestamps in the description box below. First, a brief summary of the energy for the first half of March. So, March 1st through March 3rd, Mercury is retrograde in Pisces. Then Mercury will do a little dance and find itself retrograde in Aquarius on March 4th. On March 5th, Venus will enter Taurus where she is most comfortable because she's the ruler of Taurus. She likes Taurian and Libran energy, but we're talking about Taurus right now, so moving on. On March 9th, we have the super full moon in Virgo, and I'll go into detail about this Virgo full moon in the extended version of this video. Finally, on March 10th, Mercury goes direct in Aquarius. So, as I glean deeper into the first half of March 2020's energies, I see that the Sun is having a conversation with Mars, Mercury is conversing with Uranus, Venus is pissed off with Saturn and Pluto, and Jupiter is plotting and planning with Neptune. Just bear with me because I'm looking at all of this with you. So at the same time, we're looking at it together. <laughs> okay, that sounds creepy. Moving on. So what does all of this mean? How are you likely to experience all of this? Communication is going to be supercharged 
and there will be the need to express your qualifications and assert the value that you bring to situations and relationships as well. So you're really going to want people to value you and see you for, for your worth because you yourself will be filling your value and your worth. If you feel that taking a risk has the potential to bring you closer to a dream, a goal, or an ambition, just something that you've been wanting really badly, you're going to take that risk in the month of March. It may shock you, you may surprise yourself with the tenacity and vigor that you move with, but you're definitely going to have the planetary support to go after what it is that you truly want. You'll be mentally sharp and full of ideas. Um, I feel, though, there will be a bit of frustration, though, when it comes to communication. It's like you have all of these beautiful ideas, but it may not be easy for you to express that. Um, There will be frustration when communicating with others. You may feel like people are not getting to the point fast enough. You may feel rushed into communicating something before you are ready. There's going to be a lot of nervous and impatient energies attached to communication. You may begin something new, something like a project, a new job, something with your education. Anything new that you start during the month of March, it's going to expose you to new ways of being, new ways of thinking, of doing things, because it's likely to radically shift your perspective in some way. Anything new that you learn, in addition, it's likely to challenge a previous held belief or beliefs, if it's plural, it can affect everyone differently, but that may be a bit unnerving to go through because you would have believed something to be true for quite a while or to be based in facts only to find out that it isn't. This energy, it could also manifest as you meeting new people who are foreign or eccentric to you. So you will perceive them one way, stereotyping them, only to discover that they are completely different once you get to know them. So um, stereotyping and judging could be a theme, you know, but any invalid or misinformed beliefs that you have, they're going to be brought to the surface and challenged, and you yourself may act as such a conduit for, for another. You know, it's the energy of um, being a catalyst for each other, so that um, outdated traditions and outdated beliefs can be upgraded, updated, okay? There could be a mass attraction towards new technology or electronics or the release or announcement of such, as well as discoveries made in science. Any discoveries made in science are going to disprove previous theories, hypotheses, techniques, etc., these energies are also very good for traveling, exploring new parts of your current locale as well. So the first half of March 2020, it could bring difficult challenges to your personal and professional relationships. You may, you may feel as if you no longer have anything in common with people or circumstances that you used to enjoy. So there will be revelations about the authenticity of your relationships as well. You may find that some of these relationships are pushing beyond your boundaries. It's also the potential for little nuances, little tiny things that you think are not a big deal. They can get blown way out of proportion and turn into huge problems. So there's a need to be mindful there when you're navigating your relationships with others. I feel overall with these energies mostly, you know, the universe, it's wanting you to see people for who they really are. So it's an energy of all mask off and the truth of characters being revealed. Now moving on to your finances for the first half of the month. Your finances may cause you more stress than usual. And you also may feel in terms of your energy input output that responsibilities may increase around this time. So it's going to be recommended that you be conservative when it comes to your finances. 
In addition to being mindful of your energy output, your energy expenditure, because you may find that certain things are draining you or certain habits are not helping you to be as efficient as you could be. When it comes to power dynamics, it's something that should be mentioned as I conclude the first half of the month. I I want to say, you have the potential to have some intense experiences when it comes to power. The way others express their power potential towards you, the ways in which you realize it's more than a potential and actually um, you are dealing with covertly powerful people, um, people who have friends in high places, so... It's like you had no idea that that person was so well connected or that they had the ability that they did only to discover in the first half of the month that they do. You know, um, it's like a game of chess, you know. Everyone is looking to the king, but it's the queen that needs to be preserved. So keep that in mind, just to say as well that... You also may be coming to terms with your own internal power, how you express your power, how you wield power. You know, you may be realizing ways in which you are overly generous, ways in which you are maybe domineering or pushy, and also ways in which you can act with more, mm, it's like an assertive energy more confidence in how you express yourself with the world. So to conclude the first half of the month, I would make the prediction that there are going to be some major shifts in the financial markets. It's going to begin this trend in the beginning of March. It may not fully reveal itself towards the end, but the energy is going to develop all the way until August of 2020. So whatever shifts, it's likely to develop over the months to come, but it's likely to produce a lot of opportunities to invest, a lot of dynamic financial opportunities, okay? So keep a lookout for that. If you have some capital that you would like to put towards, you know, something that is productive and brings you longevity. So let's get into the second half of March. The second half of March 2020, a brief summary of the energy. On March 20th, the sun enters Aries, which marks the March equinox. It's the first day of spring for those in the northern hemisphere, and it's the first day of fall for those in the southern hemisphere. On March 22nd, after a significant transit through Capricorn, Saturn will enter Aquarius. On March 24th, there's the new moon in Aries, and I'll go into detail about this Aries new moon in the extended version of this video. Also on March 24th, Mercury is going to be at its greatest western elongation, which means Venus will be visible to the naked eye. So if you look to the western sky right after sunset and look for the brightest planet visible, That planet is Venus, and she's visible because she's probably at her highest point above the horizon, so make sure you check that out, okay? On March 30th, Mars enters Aquarius. That's going to be significant, too. So, as I study deeper into the second half of March 2020's energies, I see that the Sun is having a conversation with Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. Mars is chatting with Neptune. Saturn is pissed off with Uranus. Yep, and Venus is having a party with Neptune, Mars, Jupiter, and Pluto. Party! So what does all of this mean? How are you likely to experience all of this? Well, your optimism is going to be at an all-time high. It's very inspirational energy, so you'll find that you are very uplifted, you're able to uplift others, you are meeting other people who are also more open and optimistic, more willing to uplift you as well. You're naturally inclined to feel more optimistic in the second half of March. 
And that in itself is going to encourage you to put your best self forward. Mm. You're likely to attract important contacts, most likely who are going to help you professionally. You yourself may act as a counselor or mediator, but mostly for the great predominance of you, I feel that you are likely to meet people who are authority figures in their careers. You may develop contacts with such people, or you may receive advice from such people. This energy also attracts towards you a guru or a spiritual master. Okay. There's going to be strong communal energy in the collective. So you'll find that people are more willing to be supportive of one another. There's going to be a lot of energy of empowerment and motivation, but at a community level. So it's really beautiful. This is a great time to further your education or do any continuing education. Any knowledge that you gain at this time, it will serve you well into the future. You could be called to teach at this time, even if it's not about something, you know, to do with academia and more something to do with your life experiences. Or you may feel compelled, you know, to share your opinions, your ideas, or stories about your past, you know. And I feel that it's important for you to do so. Because whatever it is that you have to share, either through verbal communication or the written word, it's likely to come at a very crucial and pivotal, pivotal moment to your audience or to the person or group that is receiving what you have to communicate, okay? It's like they need to hear that, so it's going to be really important that you have the confidence to speak up. Just say it. It's, it needs to be said, okay? You'll feel driven towards, it's, okay, it's an energy of responsibility. So I feel that you'll be driven towards taking more responsibility over your life in general. The universe is going to help you to realize that you are the alchemist. And like the power of change comes from within you. So you are looking for change outside of yourself. The universe may present you with obstacles or blessings dependent upon your perspective that show you that the change has to come from within you. Also, when it comes to your appearance, you may wish to glow up at this time during the second half of March. You could change your appearance in a way that, that you would deem will garner you more respect. It's all about class class and respect and however you are affected by the first impression that people have of you you may seek to adjust that in some way also i'm going to say that much of the collective is going to seek to increase their public visibility much of the collective wants to improve how they are perceived so that may be a theme for you now the energies, they're going to promote rebellion and reform, especially in the second half of March. So you're going to find that this is excellent energy for activism, community work, socialism, protesting, for examples. And you may see quite a bit of this reflected in, in society. You may also find that people are taking to their social media to express very strong opinions. And you may say, well... Yasmina, you know, they always do that, but I'm telling you, it's going to be a bit more extreme than it usually is, okay? Now, looking into the inner, the, yeah, we're, there's so much happening in the second half of March. I think I'll start with this. Okay, so the universe wants you to come to understand yourself better through the observation of your relationships, Let's talk about relationships and love and being committed and being single, okay? Now, your partnerships in the second half of March at least, but I feel like all throughout the month, but definitely in the second half of the month, your partnerships will begin to reveal new parts of themselves that previously you either did not notice or were completely unaware of. So those of you in relationships, I'll start with you. 
Those of you in relationships, you're going to begin to reveal your shadow self to your partner and vice versa, your partner will begin to reveal their shadow self to you. This is going to give you both, if you choose to make it a moment of observation, a meditation, you know, it's going to give you deeper insight into who you both really are. Because your relationships are mirrors, essentially, but these mirrors are going to be highly refined, highly potent, heavily polished <laughs> at this time, okay? So it's really going to be made obvious, evident, and aware to you. Now, it's going to provoke within you to ask some very key questions. It's going to be different for each of you, but I'll give you some examples. You may question if your relationships fit your ideal of what a healthy relationship should be. You may question if your relationship is supportive, considerate, patient, promotional, meaning you are encouraged to be your best, for example. Is it a relationship that is building you or is it energy that is taking you down? You know, you may begin to notice if it hasn't been apparent previously or you've been trying to gloss over it, you may begin to notice areas within your relationships with your partners that resemble strife, discord, maybe even jealousy. So all of this is a reflection for the partnership. It's a reflection that will really show you if you are being supportive of yourself considerate of yourself, patient with yourself. If you give yourself these virtues, they will be reflected back towards you in your relationships. You know, are you at war with yourself? You know, are you heavily judgmental of self? Is there self-hatred even? Well, you know, is this being reflected back in abusive partnerships or partnerships with duplicitous types of individuals? All of this is going to be demonstrated to you as a reflection of you. So if you take it as a meditation and mindful awareness, it can be highly uh, enlightening, which means it can propel great action towards you becoming your best self, which helps you to live your best life. Moving on. You are going to be presented with opportunities the second half of March that... Uh, Mm, this is more for singles. Let me clarify before I begin the interpretation. Okay, singles, people in situationships, confusionships, people in non-mutually committed relationships. Okay, you guys, you're going to be presented with opportunities during the second half of March to create relationships in your real life that match your idealism of what relationships should be, of what a healthy, you know, your perfect partner for you, a healthy relationship and all of that. The universe, it doesn't want you to lose hope or to view your ideal relationships as something that is fantasy or out of reach for you. The universe, believe it or not, loves you and wants to, wants to see you have and live, you know, the tangible material aspects when it comes to your dreams and, you know, what you consider to be your ideal in life. So with the second half of March's energies, when it comes to relationships, you are going to have a lot of opportunities to meet very interesting and new people. These are not people from your past. These are brand new, fresh faces, fre um, fresh energy, people you've never been intimate with, you know, or have even developed a friendship with. It's newness. You're going to meet a lot of new people. And if you remain open and flexible, you're going to find that as you get to know these people, they are a very good match for you, okay? I mean, you may be blown away, so don't sabotage it. Don't believe that it's not, that it's um, too good to be true because often, especially if you are coming from toxic or abusive situations in your past, you will chalk up uh, a good partner as too good to be true because you don't 
believe subconsciously you deserve a healthy relationship when in reality that person is a person it's not about being too good to be true or not too good to be true it's just about you feeling comfortable with someone who demonstrates health to you it's a new vibe for a lot of you okay so there's going to be lots of flirtatious energy and um, a lot of new long-term romances will be formed towards the end of the month or solidified at the very least okay there's also going to be um, an increase in your sensitivity so your ability to perceive the emotions of others in addition to your ability to better understand your emotional needs is going to be at a deeper level in the second half of the month. So you'll find that you experience a lot of kindness and compassion from other people as well as you yeah, as well as you being more willing to verbally express affection, compassion and kindness. So you guys are going to have a very active social life in the second half of March 2020. Or at the very least, opportunities to increase your social interactions will be made available to you if you choose to take them. And it's likely going to be good fun because the energy is very encouraging for um, bonds with close friends and loved ones. It's a lot of warmth and affection in this energy. Now, to conclude the second half of March, astrologically, I want to talk about your finances. When it comes to finances, this is not the best time to commit to any new agreements. Yes, I know that Mercury stationed direct in the beginning of March, but still, when it comes to finances, it's not good energy to agree to any new commitments. Financial risks are going to be at an all-time high in the second half of March. So you're likely to imagine an ideal result which may not actually materialize. So think on it before you take action. And also with this energy, people may seek to swindle you out of your finances, especially in the name of altruism or charity. So make sure you double check those GoFundMe accounts before you donate to them. Or at the very least, make sure you are informed on who you give or loan money to. You'll have an increase in your levels of optimism when it comes to money and that can put you at a bit of a disadvantage. Because you're going to be very interested in ways in which you can improve your financial standing. And it may cause you to rush into very risky agreements. So that's why I am giving the caution to just pull your energy back a bit. Um, practice conservation when it comes to your finances. Because these energies, they can make one feel compelled to start building financial capital. Especially when it comes to a special project, goal, or ambition. So just take a pause before you take action and everything should be okay regardless the second half of march it's excellent for discussing financial matters or doing any variety of financial planning just just be mindful not to let your confidence cause you to miss opportunities because these energies they can make you so confident that you become lazy or overindulgent or you feel like you have more time than what you actually do so it can cause you to think you have more time to do something when you don't so don't let your ego fool you into procrastination now to wrap this up and conclude you'll find that the second half of march 2020 brings an increase to optimism i've talked about that let's see traveling to new or exotic locales is supported as well beware that overindulgence in alcohol substances unhealthy foods or blowing your budget are likely with these energies mm -hmm. you'll also find that passions are running high especially towards the very end of the month as march transitions into april so many of you will experience an increase in your libido and then others of you will just feel a bit of anger <laughs> like you it comes out of nowhere it's, some things need to be expressed just know that the energy is highly provocative 
Okay, now let's get into cartomancy. Aloha Cancer, welcome to your cartomancy reading for March 2020. I hope that you have a wonderful month. So to begin the reading, for those of you who are children, no, for those of you who have children, hopefully children do not watch this channel. Pray tell children do not watch this channel. Okay, <laughs> for those of you who have children, for those of you who work with children, for those of you who are godparents, aunties, uncles, um, guardians of young people, I feel that there is a particular child who is going to receive some type of acknowledgement, award, or honors in the month of March 2020. Something that you may have been worried about or concerned about with a child. You may have taken a child to see a specialist or you may have been putting in a lot of extra work with this particular child. I feel that you are going to get excellent results in regards to this child during March 2020. So congratulations, whatever it may be. A child overcomes something or accomplishes a milestone or receives some type of acknowledgement and acclaim for their genius or a job well done, for example. Moving on from that energy. I see that for many of you, Cancer, it is a time of great new beginnings. You have the mental capacity as well as the physical strength to build ingenious new ideas. I feel that a lot of what you feel inspired to do over the course of March is divinely inspired. I see your ancestors working diligently with you. And I see you developing past some type of hurdle, maybe a habit that you've held, something that you've done since adolescence which now in your maturity no longer serves you. So there's the overcoming of that. I also feel that you may not have spoken with certain people in an extended period of time, but you are going to be f reconciling with friends, family, even old exes. It's all platonic and healthy energy, and I feel that a lot of the past will be put to rest. There will be an opportunity for you to explain why you made certain decisions in the past, as, as well as others having a space to be able to communicate with you their reasoning for their decisions and their behavior. I see where there is a great deal of responsibility that you will carry during the month, but I feel that you will carry it exceptionally well. Know that your solar plexus are being activated at this time. So you are entering into a period where you can manifest significantly. It's the energy of instant manifestation. And not just you coming into alignment in terms of energetically with that which you want to manifest. But it's also an energy of you getting to see it materialize actualize it's tangible you can taste it feel it see it touch it so i feel that in the coming months especially by the time that we are transitioning from leo season into virgo season you are going to have a lot of wonderful um, announcements to make good news in your life just keep doing the hard work that you're doing now because it is going to definitely pay off in the future. I also see you are going to be receiving some type of an important communication in March 2020, Cancer. 
definitely it is something that you thought was over and done with something that you thought you had put behind you and that you would not explore further but I feel that someone is coming back to ask you if you would be willing to reinvest this could manifest as two different ways I'm seeing for some of you it will be actually what you used to do maybe it is a career that you retired from a hobby or a vocation that you no longer develop and you're going to get back into that through the invitation of someone outside of yourself for others of you it is going to manifest as you beginning to do whatever this is in a new way so you're still doing what you're doing but it is going to be in a way that you haven't done it before. So let's say, for example, you used to be quite proficient in a sport or in some type of a creative talent, for example. You may find yourself coming into the role of coach or helping young people to develop their gifts. I see where many of you will be given opportunities to teach because you have the life experience to do it. And there is an element of mastery here. And because Cancer, you have been so humble and you've kept your head down and done the hard work in the months previous, I feel that the universe is really going to bless you at this time. Many of you have very significant Aquarius is coming into your lives, earth signs in general, so Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, as well as Libras and Leos. These are all going to be very important energies for you. I'm also seeing Gemini, so let me re reiterate that. Earth signs are going to be very important to you in the month of March, as well as air signs. And also Leos are going to play a significant role in your life. You should also plan for some unexpected travel. It could be at a great distance. It could be not too distant, but... However this manifests, it's going to be unexpected. You should definitely accept the opportunity. Know that any decisions that you have to make, try not to overthink them. And try to do it from a place of your own personal happiness and fulfillment, rather than always thinking about the fulfillment of others. I feel that this indeed is meant to be a very selfish period in your life. And I feel so much abundance coming your way. I think it's going to startle you. Because I feel that what you are expecting, anticipating for yourself, I feel that whatever manifests, it's going to exceed your expectations and your anticipations and I feel that it will be positively so it's going to be really important that you drink plenty of water in the month of March and that you sweat I often don't advocate sweating because I believe you should retain your prana but it's going to be important for you to sweat in March because it's going to help you to release any stagnant energy and it's going to be very, very good for your mental health. So exercise, take a brisk walk, whatever it is that you like to do, do it. There's going to be a lot of inner child healing as well. So don't be surprised if animals and children are very attracted to you. The universe is sending such energies your way to help you to reinvigorate that innocence within yourself. I hope you have a wonderful month, Cancer. I'll see you soon. Mahalo. I so enjoyed making this reading for you. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you are interested in the extended version of this video, I'm going to be making some major predictions for the month for each sign individually. 
as well as going into detail about the super full moon and the new moon that's going to occur in March. If you are interested in the extended version of this video, you can find the link in the description box below. See you there. Thank you.